So, Love Holds Life is a children's cancer foundation helping children battling cancer and their families by providing financial support. Their ultimate goal is to ensure children with love and life. And uh, here now to share more, we welcome the founder of Love Holds Life, Richard J. Sonato, and Director of Development, Megan Von Hahn. Hello and welcome, and thank you for being here. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for having, having us. us. You know, we, I just want to open up with the, just the fact that you've chosen to name your foundation Love Holds Life. We need a lot of love right now. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we so do. congratulations on that. And um, just please share the inspiration behind uh, even creating this foundation. Well, thank you. Thank you again for having us. And thanks for Bronx Set News. It's always a pleasure coming on here and sharing uh, the work that we do in the, in the Bronx. Love Holds Life was inspired by uh, little boy Michael Montana. He's a resident up in Patterson, New York, and his father is a fire captain in Mount Vernon. So the whole thing had come together through mutual friends, had uh, told me about this little boy who was in need, and the father simply asked, can you start an organization to help our family to financially offset medical bills? I said, sure. You know, I, I didn't know what I was really walking into. Why did he choose you? I had uh, been involved previously with the Dutchess County Red Cross as a volunteer. Okay. So through the grapevine, they saw and heard how much money I raised for this nonprofit. So it was a way to, you know, help them out. And I took a leap of faith. He said, helping my son will lead to helping many others. And that's what happened. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, uh, prior to getting on camera, I, I found it very fascinating that this uh, initiative is coming from a man. I mean, I don't know what that means exactly, but <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's just, you know, when you think of nurturing and so forth, you kind of gear more, gear more towards women. And it's just really fascinating to see it uh, being developed by a man. And I was young. I was 26. And you were 26. How old are you now? Do you mind? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be 32 this year. Nice. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So um, can you share a little bit about its development as the uh, Director of Development? Sure. Um, we are doing a bunch of outreach all the way from Orange County to Ulster County to even down here in the Bronx um, to set up different outreach when it comes to coin drops to even just carnivals or cupcake festivals we just did last mm -hmm. weekend, That's which was fine. a phena phenomenal um, outreach where we sold cupcakes for $2 a piece. And the amount of money that people just gave just to give back to our community was fantastic. Um, so with that being said, I mean, so far this summer, we're going to have a lot of events. So definitely look out on our website and see what mm -hmm. we have coming forward. That's great. We all love events, especially when they're outdoors and it's children related. Oh, absolutely. For us children at heart. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you got that one. And so, Richard, yeah. uh, let's let's talk a little bit about um, all the initiatives that you are, have taken on uh, regarding individuals, uh, and and tell us a little bit about how the program works and how you choose the individuals that you're going to assist. How does that work? I was just actually telling before we started the camera one of the the gentlemen who's working here that we. Believe it or not, our last about half a dozen or more referrals have come through uh, our social media, through Facebook. Uh, there are chat rooms that these parents are involved with, with their children, and a lot of our parents are involved with it, that their child obviously is diagnosed. And lately, a lot of referrals have been coming from social media. We, we receive a lot of um, notice about these cases through community outreach events as well. And our focus is to directly help the individual, as you said. Unfortunately, this industry is huge. It's a huge industry, and a, a lot of things get left behind, and, and people get left behind. So Love Holds Life, our mission is to help, help the person, help, help the individual, help the child. And by doing that, the, the financial pressure that they're, they're, that they're getting from this is totally able to be um, taken care of through Love Holds Life. Right, and so considering our present and circumstances related to medical benefits and, mm -hmm. and <laughs> oh, it's expensive. I mean, the average just where it is now, you know, and I'm trusting that it's not going to take a, a turn, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not looking good right now. Yeah. 
And so I just, because you're raising money for these individuals who are struggling with finances and or are, I guess, underserved in their mm -hmm. finances with the, the actual medical benefits, I'm curious to know, like, do you work, you said you, you, you find, you're finding these individuals through social media and, I, you know, that, that could get a little challenging and a little overwhelming. So uh, do you work directly with um, certain medical programs or hospitals or are you it, trying to create almost like a, a St. Jude type of situation, I guess is what so, I'm asking. So the great question and we just after we've been around five years now, we just celebrated five years. March 12th was five years. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And the hospital that we're now doing some work with, with some special cases is Montefiore Hospital, which is here in the Bronx. We're, we're working on a case right now with a little boy, Raid, who originally is a Yemen national. And um, right now with, with this little boy, for example, this case, there's, because of their status, there's no, um, there, oh was no fun there was no funding. My heart there's is no just funding. dropping. This is the, the young boy you're talking yeah. about. So this is, this is Raid, and uh, this message was done last night. Right now, Love Holds Life is working with the federal government to help expedite his mother's uh, visa. She's a Yemen national. She's currently in Egypt waiting for interview process. We've been working with Senator Chuck Schumer's office, who's our federal New York Senator. And now we are reaching out to President Donald Trump, who is a big supporter of cancer. So he needs to know this message. So please retweet this. We're putting this on Twitter after this, Instagram, Facebook. This boy needs his mother. He is in very, very bad shape with stage four osteosarcoma. It's a serious soft tissue bone cancer. And we need our president's help to step in and get this mother here so she could be with her son who's very sick, dying in the hospital. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank God for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And thank you. You just had me in a moment because these are the, I can't even believe we're <coughs> living in this day and age. Yeah. So um, hopefully uh, this request will be answered. And mm -hmm. I was sending the best, and, and so if anybody's in need of your services, where, where could they go? Our website is lhlny.org, and uh, you can reach <coughs> us there anytime. Our Facebook is Love Holds Life, same with Instagram, and our Twitter is hashtag Team LHL. Um, you can contact us through there, and any of our, our corporate sponsors and stuff um, you know, are always able to get a hold of us and, and our Chamber of Commerce that we're part of, too. Well, it was really a pleasure having you yeah, on today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so you much. Thank you for the work you're thank doing. You. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, thank you for affirming people's lives by making sure that love holds life. Thank you. I love that. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, for more information on Love Holds Life, and, you know, even if you want to contribute, you can go to their website by going to lhlnyc.org.